Hi guys, Nick's user here. Now I've got a bit of a tutorial for you here, a really short one. Um, it's about the uh, console colours. And now if you're anything like me, and I don't know if you are, but uh, I like my terminal to, my real VT to be um, the same colour, have the same colour background as my terminal emulators. And in that case it's a dark blue. So I'm going to show you how to do this now uh, in uh, GNU Plus Linux and uh, we'll go from there. So, so what we need to do is we need to go to a directory called slash sys and slash module vt and then uh, parameters. And you'll see that there's a default red, default green and default blue file. We need to create a file from, uh, from this and then use those parameters. Um, we can test them first, so let's, uh, let's do that. So we'll go um, cat default uh, red, green, blue, and we'll output that to this file here. Okay, and we'll take a look at that file. And uh, in this case, I've already done that, so I'll just delete the extraneous files, uh, the extraneous lines. But um, you can see here's uh, the first line is for red, second is for green, and this one is for blue. Now it originally was like this, but what I did was I added that to it, the 60. So we'll, let's test that file out. And we'll go, uh, we need to use a program called set uh, vt rgb, and we use this consolecolor.conf and you can see a slight change in the bottom left hand side of the screen I'll just clear the screen by pressing control L or you can type reset in as well uh, reset rather rather than rest and uh, you can see that if I move to each VT you can see that it's affected all of the VTs um, but the question is how to make that a bit more permanent and uh, unfortunately I've tried using systemd to make it permanent that didn't work but I then discovered through an arch forum that uh, there's a a set of kernel arguments uh, or command line um, parameters or arguments that you can say um, that will help with this task. So uh, what we'll do is we'll vi our, um, our grub file that uh, helps us configure uh, grub and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to read uh, those, those parameters in. So we can just get these three lines, so I need to delete that first one and I'm going to put it in here, vt.default red equals that and go back to this one, delete that and then it's uh, vt.default green equals oh. Just need to make sure that we put that um, that equal sign in there. Well, it's not going to work. That's the green one, and then we need to delete the rest of that and put bt dot default blue uh, equals and paste that in. So that does that. Now we could type update grub at this point, but the more generic way across the distros is to update the um, the config file directly, it might be in a different directory depending on what distro, take a look at your documentation, but on Debian it'll be this, it'll be um, grub make config output file slash boot slash grub slash grub dot config so we'll do that and then we will reboot black screen there, nice black screen and then it goes to blue so that pretty much uh, solves the problem for you there guys. Uh, we're going to do that on FreeBSD next. It's not too dissimilar but uh, the arguments are a little bit different. So anyway guys I hope you liked this video. If you did uh, pre please press the like button. If you'd like to receive more of this content press subscribe uh, and remember to ding the bell if uh, you want to get notifications. Anyway guys have a good one. Bye now.